Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying class 5th math chapter number 5th fractions problem set number 20. We will be completing in today's video. So let's start with the video. In this exercise, we are going to study how to add the given fractions. Now all the like fractions are been given. Now what are like fractions? The denominators are equal. Those fractions are said to be like fractions. Before starting with this exercise, all the exercises of this practice of this lesson is been given in the description. The link are being provided. You all have to go and watch it in order to understand this practice set. So you all have to first watch practice set number 17, 18 and 19. So let's start with the first fraction that is addition of this fraction. So I write the question. It's extremely easy. 1 upon 5 plus 3 upon 5. So when the denominators are equal, you all can write it only once. And 1 plus 3. So this is going to be 4 upon 5. Next is going to be 2 upon 7 plus 4 upon 7. So denominators are equal as I said. Those are like fractions. So 2 plus 4 is going to be 6 upon 7. Next is the third one that is 7, 12 plus 2 and 12. So 12, 7 plus 2, it's going to be 8 and 9. So 9 upon 12. Now this answer is also correct. You all can reduce it further. That is 9 upon 12. 9 upon 12 matlab 9. 3 threes are 9, 3 fours are 12. So the answer is 3 upon 4. You all can either write this answer or this answer after reduction. So what table I have used over here? 3 ka table. 3 threes are 9, 3 fours are 12. Okay, I will write it over here. So in case if you all are not able to understand, you will be able to. So we 3 and 4 here. Se mila hai. Okay? Let's move on to the fourth sum that is 2 upon 9 plus 7 upon 9. So 9 one time lena hai. 2 plus 7 is going to be 14 upon 9. Now both cannot be reduced. We can divide nahi kar paenge. So let's keep it as it is. Alright. Now the fifth sum is 3 upon 15 plus 4 upon 15. Both the denominators are same. 3 plus 4 is going to be 7 upon 15. Okay. Now the sixth one is 2 upon 7 plus 1 upon 7 plus 3 upon 7. All the numbers are same at the denominator that is 7. Fair 2 plus 1 plus 3. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3 is going to be 6 upon 7. Next is the seventh one, 2 upon 10 plus 4 upon 10 plus 3 upon 10 is going to be 10. Then here 2 plus 4 plus 3. So, we will write 10 lik lenge and then we will add it 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, here 9 will come. Next is going to be the eighth one that is 4 upon 9 plus 1 upon 9. So this is going to be 9, 4 plus 1, that is 5 upon 9. Then 5 upon 8 plus 3 upon 8, 8, then 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3, 8, be 8, hai. so 8 ones are, 8 ones are, answer is 1. You all can keep it as it is also, both the answers are going be the same children okay don't worry now over here we have been given a problem sum mother gave 3 upon 8 fraction of 1 guava to Meena and 2 upon 8 fraction of guava to Geeta okay Meena and Geeta got this much amount of guava guava is a fruit what part of guava did she give them all together matlab dono ko mila ke total kitna guava meena's mother and geeta's mother had given both of them okay so first we will write 3 upon 8 
to Mina and two upon eight part of Guava to Gita. Over here also we will write the same statement part of Guava to Mina. Okay, so both the things we have written. First, we will write what has been given. All together they have mentioned. Isn't it textbook may what they have mentioned? All together. I will show you. See, over here they have mentioned all together. All together means we have to add them. So, 3 upon 8 plus 2 upon 8 is going to be 8. 3 plus 2 is going to be 5 upon 8 is the answer. Therefore, mother gave them 5 upon 8 of guava all together. Now, the last sum is the girl of standard 5th cleaned 2 upon 3 of a field while the boys cleaned 1 upon 4th part what part of the field was clean all together? All together means again we plus karna hai. So how are we going to write this same way? Third, so girls cleaned 3 upon 4 part of a field. Okay, boys cleaned 1 upon 4 part of a field. So we have to find all together. That means 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4. So 4, 3 plus 1 is going to be 4 upon 4. That means 1 or you can keep 4 upon 4. Both the answers are going to be the same. So how much part of the field was clean all together? Therefore, one complete part you all can write. So, in the two different ways you all can write this statement. If you all are writing one, so we have this statement likna hai. that is one. Just a second. One complete part of field was clean or 4 upon 4 part of field was cleaned. Alright, so in this way children you will have to write the answers. I hope this exercise is clear and crisp to everyone. If while solving you all are finding anything difficult, let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye.